Shabbos Nachmu is right in front of us. The nine days is behind us. The three weeks, Tish above, everything is gone. Now comes our, our happiness. We can start eating meat, drinking wine, taking haircuts. Like the Pesach says, Nachmu, Nachmu, comfort, comfort. Nachamu, Nachamu, Ami, Ahoy, Mar, Eloi, Keichem, Naberu, Halalei, Virushalai, Mekuru, Elam, Kimalat, Sivam. So on and so forth. Comfort, comfort, like the Pesach says. Now the question is, how can we have comfort if nothing changed since yesterday? Yesterday we were crying on the floor that we don't have a Beis Amikdash. Mashiach is not here yet. Hashem doesn't have his home where to dwell on. What changed since yesterday? We still don't have Mashiach. We still don't have a Beis Amikdash. So what's the point of being happy now? So what's this Nachamu? Shabbos Nachamu. And we may have to explain it with a little twist. And then we might understand what's happening. Hashem gave us something which is called Shikha. Forgetting, we forget things. When a person loses a sibling, we lose a parent, a child, regardless who we lose, it's very painful, we cry about it. It's true pain, real pain, it hurts us. But after a few months, a few years, we slowly forget about the pain, even though we still remember we lost it, but the pain is not there anymore. Every so often we might cry about it, but the pain is not there anymore, we forget the actual pain. But in a case when we didn't lose someone, we just think we lost someone, and the pain remains like we see by Yaakov Avinu. He knew that Yosef HaTzadik is still alive because he couldn't comfort himself by the fact that his son passed away, which means his son did not really pass away. So the fact that, that someone can't comfort himself, that means that it didn't really happen. And the fact that it did happen, and the true pain was there, but then it goes away after a while. So the fact that we comfort a week after Tisha B'Av is because it was real. Our loss was real. We lost the Beis Amikdash. We don't have it anymore. The pain was real, but after a few days, weeks, months, years, we could get comfort. So it's true we don't have a Beis Amikdash. It's true Mashiach is not here. It hurts us. But our pain is gone because it really happened. It's not just a story that could have happened, it really happened. We really lost it, and it's a true loss. And the fact that we fig- that, that our pain is forgotten within us, and we can have comfort like Nachmu, Nachmu, comfort, comfort, is because it's real, and reality cannot always stay in pain. It always moves on.